An absolute is something that is contingent upon nothing, modified by nothing. An absolute is something that exists without being dependent on anything else. Richard Dawkins tells us there are two kinds of belief, one supported by empirical inference and the other that is not. And we can assume that he has favor for the former. Here Dawkins is playing philosopher and it's cute because he ignores the fact that any mode of inference, even empirical, requires some kind of belief that is itself not empirically inferred. In fact, if he was to try to do that, he would merely be affirming the consequent, would he not? Metaphysical assumption is belief and a kind of belief devoid of all evidence and it is absolutely necessary in order to engage in any kind of argumentation. Indeed, to be an intellectual, we must subscribe to a metaphysical point of view, even for someone like Richard Dawkins. Among any number of predictive methods that are proposed to operate better than mere chance, there are a number of people who believe, regardless of their inability to be certain, that science is the best method of predicting nature. The only way science could ever predict better than mere chance, however, is if the metaphysical assumptions of empirical inference are true. To infer that what happens in a lab can be used to predict what will happen outside the lab is to assume that nature operates by an absolute. It is to assume that nature operates on the basis of something that exists without itself being dependent on anything else. But there might be a problem in this for some people. Many who put their bets on science also adopt metaphysical assumptions that compete with those of science. Often they do this to substantiate a personal worldview, a fashionable worldview perhaps, or simply preferred, since most of these lack any basis for personal responsibility or accountability. The risk we run when we put confidence in science while harboring beliefs counter to science's own is the risk of falling into a philosophic schizophrenia. It's a psychosis at the metaphysical level. Many people want to have their cake and eat it too. The cake is confidence in science, and eating it is abandoning the implications that would follow if it is in fact true that science predicts better than chance. It may be said that the birth of an intellectual begins when one subscribes to a metaphysical point of view. It is something that is done privately and cannot be substantiated by any form of evidence anywhere at any time. And though it is a position that cannot ever be demonstrated to be certainly true, we can be certain that if any one of them are true, any competing theories are false. To hold our private faith in the assumptions of science while boasting a worldview that competes with the assumptions of science, namely relativism and, ironically, materialism or the like, is a disorder of one's philosophy and a flaw of one's own thinking. And the reconciliation of this flaw can only be made privately. I implore man's sincerest accountability on the matter. We must acknowledge, do we, in spite of being certain or not being certain, believe that science predicts better than chance? And are we prepared for the implications that would follow if we were right?